Restoration. Restoration is brought to you by Darling, find your beautiful. It's a good day, every day. Nestle, good food, good life. High sense, everyday prices for everyday people. Yeah, it's extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. Welcome to Restoration with Stacy. I am Stacy, and I can assure you today is going to be a very interesting one. But before that, let's take a word from our sponsors. Restoration. From Darling, find your beautiful. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. We are a people of choice and preference. Our choices determine the quality of our lives. Our preferences depend on vast reasons. Hisense has all the reasons. Hisense and Veta Fridge is very elegant. Efficient cooling system that keep your food fresher. Hisense means quality. Long-lasting quality. Hisense AC is energy efficient, it's super chill, and it does not make noise. Watch all your seasonal football matches on Hisense TV. Only Hisense gives you five years warranty. Hisense everyday prices for everyday people. Hisense, life reimagined. Good food, good life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. I remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yas Extra Long Sanitary Pad took the worry away. Easy. Yas Comfort, Yas Confidence, The new Yas Extra Long Sanitary Pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. We don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes. Yes, yes. Feel confident, stay fresh. Hi, is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence, I got. Yes. We got yes protection. I got. Yes, extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. 
Breakfast your day. Every day. Nestle. Good food, good life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Thank you to GTP for my fabric, to Ophelia of ABS Collection, Dan Suman Zodiac. Thank you very much for my outfit. GH Beauty Artistry for my makeup, to Vic D Salon in Dan Suman. Thank you very much for my hair. And I am still being generous. From now till the 31st of December, all you have to do is call Jim Ray. They are giving you the opportunity to own lands in Accra. And for Christmas, buy two and get one free. And it's located 15 minutes from Kaswa is the West Palm Hills. So call Jim Ray now and be a landlord in Accra. <laughs> I, I have seen a lot of young women who have been very successful with whatever they have chosen to do with your lives and your careers. But there is one young woman I have watched grow. She's been strong, she's been tough, she's been successful, and what I love about her is she's been no nonsense. My guest for this week is Nanaba Anamwa. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, Nana. <laughs> How are you? Um, I'm hanging in there by his grace. My English mistress. Oh, well, <laughs> exaggerated, but yeah. <laughs> Nana, we, we come a very long way. I mean, Ghana National College, Ward Brew House. Um, and Nana was Elsie actually... Darby, please. I mean, come on. I'm, Elsie I'm just about to say Ward Brew House. They should have brought you to Ward Brew House. No, no, because, I, I mean, for a fine woman like you, no, you should have I think been I was in, in the perfect. I was in the perfect, perfect house. house. Yes. You didn't have to do a lot of steps. No. No, not at all. Yeah. And I, I mean, was pumped. Maybe that's why you like that place. You should have done this test. But, I mean, she was actually my maid of honor for my wedding. Yeah. Have I said thank you? No, never. Never? You never, I, I mean, you never said thank you. No, I didn't never, have to say thank you. Never you never sent a text. You never bought me food <laughs> later to say, oh, Nana. <laughs> and I got you to do nanny work after I know. that. Can you imagine? I know. To the colors, they're such a big girl. But it, yeah. it's, it's been long, and I'm so proud of the woman you have become. So am I of you. No, no, let's shoot it. We, we know so much about you. People have said so much about you. Some have assumed they know you and have written what they think you are. Mm -hmm. I just want us to set the record straight. We all know you had your son at a very young age. Mm -hmm. And you, as much as you are my friend, I've never asked you. At that time, what were you thinking just out of school? Yeah. What, what, was it the experience? Was it peer pressure? Peer pressure that maybe get pregnant? Yeah, or no? may, maybe your friends were telling you things. So no. The peer pressure went bad. I mean, you're just going to no. try it. No, something. you know, the, the, the one thing I've never fallen for in my life is peer pressure. Um, it never gets to me. If I don't like it, I don't like it. If I like it, I like it. If you like it, you love it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't jump on bandwagons. So okay. if I see a crowd chasing after one thing and I feel it's not economically sensible to me, mm -hmm. I don't follow it. I can't be bothered how many people are clamoring for it. So peer pressure really never gets to me. Um, yes, I got pregnant at a very tender age. I was a teenager. Um, it changed my life for good. It brought me some experiences. Um, it w I made mistakes. Have I repeated those mistakes? No. Will I ever make those mistakes? No. But I will make new mistakes. Mm -hmm. As a human being, every day I make mistakes. And learn. And learn and from my mistakes. And become a better person. Yeah, I mean, you are only a fool if you don't learn from your mistakes and the mistakes of others. A wise person learns from his mistakes and the mistakes of others. A fool repeats other people's mistakes without learning. And I like to think that I'm somehow somewhat a bit sensible. So I, I, I don't like to repeat people's mistakes and I don't repeat my mistakes, but I learn from what people go through. Go through. Yeah. At that age, how emotionally stressful 
was it? It wasn't, actually. I, I think that I'm a very tough person um, right from the get-go. I knew what I had gotten myself into. I knew the repercussions of what I was going through and what the decision I had made to keep my child. And so I was ready for it. And I'm the type who likes to... Were you to... being pressured to get rid of the pregnancy? No, no. I had a very, very wonderful family. Uh, my mom, of course, threw a, a lot of tantrums. Mm -hmm. A few of them. <laughs> she, she threw tantrums. But which mother wouldn't yes. speak? I mean, because you have a teenage daughter. You've got dreams for your daughter. Which was her first? Uh, I'm the second, actually. No, I mean, with like, my of, first, of the yeah. tantrums, yes. which was the first, like... She, she went like... When you, you, you are pregnant, hey, I see. <laughs> you know, and the rest that followed are unprintable. I can't say them on TV. But <laughs> eventually, eventually she came around the table. Um, she had to deal with it. My father was very happy about it. I knew my father was going to say something as that funny was going as... To calm as you. funny as... You're going to have a child, a human being. So what's the big deal? deal? Yeah. What I was worried about was my mom's reaction because my mom is very, you know, very religious. Yes. She believes in the Christian principles. She lives by the Bible. Um, so I was concerned about her yeah. reaction. But I also knew that she, was, she would throw tantrums. But eventually... She would come around. She would come around. It turned out she, you know... She became the best grandmother ever. Wow. She loved the experience of, you know, nurturing a child, you know. So um, it was okay for me. My sisters were extremely supportive. My only brother was very supportive. I didn't have to rely on friends. And what I did then was to read the experiences of other people because from a tender age, I like to escape into books mm -hmm. because I think a book is your best friend. Right. You can talk to your book, you can your book can talk to you. Mm -hmm. And so I escaped into books and I read the experiences of so many women who had children at my age and they were able to turn things around, around. for their good. So those were the experiences so we you, learned you, from. You were like, why can't I be if they like did any it. of them? Exactly. If they did it, I can do it because we all have the same blood running through us and we have the same number of hours in a day. So if they can do it, why not? I can do it. My only challenge as I went through all of that was how, and still it is a challenge for me, is how people... and. That's why I don't like to talk about my experiences as a teenage mother, mm -hmm. because it sort of inspire people in different ways. ways. So I get messages from young people who say that um, I have a boyfriend. I think I'm pregnant. Is a month old. Um, I, I I don't know what to do, but. Anytime I think of you, I feel I can do it. do it. And I just tell myself, well, once you're pregnant and I'm anti-abortion, you know, I'm against abortion. Um, I know some people will take me on for that. But once you're pregnant, keep the child. But also what wraps off roughly with me mm -hmm. is the young teenagers who think that it is okay to hey. get pregnant at that age, age because Nanaba has done it. And that breaks my heart that... No, you, you don't don't it, just it, go and get pregnant. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. I, I, I learned yeah. and I made good yeah, use exactly. of so, the lessons. So I, 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 sometimes I like to talk about it. Sometimes I just want to brush it under a carpet. Yeah. But I, I think it's, it's best we talk about it. Uh, well, Whilst you were busy learning to be a young mother, mm. I'm sure you were thinking about school. Mm. Did you ever think this could stop you from no. going back to school? No, not at all. Definitely you should educate yourself and education is not only acquired in the classroom. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I did in the interim... As I love that. Yeah. Education yeah. is not only acquired no, absolutely. in the classroom. Absolutely. And that is where we get it wrong here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely not just in the classroom. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are people who've gone through the school system till they were 35, 40, and they are still very stupid. <laughs> <laughs>
And there are some who just dropped out of school mm -hmm. and they're so sensible. And successful. And successful. So it, it, you, you don't have to sit in the classroom to be wise. Mm -hmm. So what I did before I, I went to the university was to self-teach myself. So I was, I was helping my child with his homework, helping him read, and I was also learning. Mm -hmm. uh, because we are in an era where there's so much information around, around us, us, so much information. And this generation is so lucky that you have a mobile phone and you can access so much information and it can turn your life around mm -hmm. so much. And that is why I have a problem when bloggers tend to focus on one particular thing for the longest period. period. Because you have young people who are so hungry for information mm -hmm. and they're looking up to bloggers, journalists and what have you to give them information. Mm -hmm. And what you consistently do is to report stories about Nanaba, Stacey, Jackie Appiah. Even the crow, Sandra Kobia. Sandra Kobia um, is 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 in London at the beach. How is that your business? I mean, that's what she wants, she to, wants do. to do. It makes her happy. If Stacy is sitting at the beach with her husband, why they are telling people what for? Mm -hmm. But we can use our platforms to make such a difference in the lives of people. And that is why, for instance, people say that I go to your social media page and I don't see too many pictures of you. Because I don't enjoy taking pictures of yeah. myself. I'd rather impart knowledge. That is why sometimes, and I listen to people talk a lot, and every time you see me post, uh, something about the English language. It's because I heard somebody something. make that mistake. I correct them, and then I feel that the larger audience must know. Must know. And so you can use your platform. Yes, report the gossip, but once a week, do something instrumental. Mm -hmm. Do something instrumental so that the young lady following you for gossip is also taking something away. Exactly. And not necessarily what Stacey wore mm -hmm. to the RTP Awards, mm -hmm. if that makes sense yeah. to you. It does. Mm -hmm. And I, I think the bloggers should really take this because sometimes it, it, it gets disturbing. I know. So when did the media come in for you? Um, well, I think I've always been a chatterbox from childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been a chatterbox. I love to talk. Um, I'm not a talkative, though. Um, I, I, I love my space and my friends. But you love to have good conversations. Good conversations. So, for instance, I, I, I can't sit and have a conversation about designer clothing or designer shoes and bags. Mm -hmm. um, I can't have that kind of conversation. Um, but there are some who enjoy that, yeah. and that's fine. That's, that's absolutely great. That's are. who they are. So um, I tend to pick and choose my friends. Um, I can't be with someone who hasn't got a view or opinion mm -hmm. on issues around them. So, for instance, I meet a man and he's absolutely good looking and I'm not into good looks. I'm more of a sapiosexual. Oh, so really? I'm, I'm attracted to brains. Yeah. And so sometimes you can see me with a man who's not exactly a hunk. He's not good looking, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, but... I enjoy their brain. Yeah. Um, I've met but men. But they have a sexy brain. Yeah. <laughs> I've met men. I've met men who are really handsome. Mm -hmm. They smell good. They look good. And they don't have a view. I can't. I can't talk to you. So with me, you must have a view on global warming. You must have a view on LGBT. You must have a view. You should be on an American politics, you should have a view on Ghanaian politics. You should have a view on things. That is sexy. That is appealing to me. And the question you asked, why the media? At what point did I think that I want to be in the media? Is because as I was growing up, I was always having conversations of mm -hmm. some sort with my father. So my father and I will watch the news together. And um, sometimes I don't even understand what they're saying, but I knew the personalities. Mm -hmm. I knew the personalities in the news. Sometimes I didn't even know who the hell they were, but I knew their names. So, for instance, at a very tender age, I knew about Gorbachev. And 
Gorbachev. I mean, I'm sure there are so many people who don't even know about Gorbachev. Mm-hmm. But I knew about Gorbachev, Mikhail Gorbachev. I was reading very interesting books at a very tender age. So I knew so much. Mm-hmm. And so I felt the right place for me was the media. And again, my father um, had a show on TV. My father has a great background, but he had a show on GTV uh, called Agrimat. Agrimat. May he so rest in peace. He should remember. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> yeah. And oh um, I admired my father so much hosting that show. <laughs> and I didn't understand anything. It was completely zilch for me. But watching him inspired me inspired so much. And I felt, you. oh, I can do this, you know. So I, I, I saw news readers come in and go. And there was Barbara, Sam, Barbara Gacy, who I found incredibly alluring and intelligent. And I so wanted to be like, like her. Like her. And as they say, the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> I think you, you, you've done so well. Let's come to your career. I mm. mean, you've had a very smooth ride. That's what I'll call it. Because for me, no matter what happens, how you are able to evolve is yeah. what matters. So mm. it's been a smooth ride for you. Mm. You've been through different stages of your career. Mm. And for most people, what should have shut you down is actually what shut you up. Mm -hmm. How were you able to rise above all that trauma? Um, As I keep telling people, I'm a fighter. Um, nothing breaks me. You know, I'm, I'm yet to find the one thing that can that break me. That will shoot me. you down. Yeah, nothing breaks me. And I also think that I have this personality because I read. I read and I learn from what people go through. Mm-hmm. You know, so nothing can break me. What I keep telling people is that as time changes you need to change as well with yeah. time when it's 12 o'clock you don't do the same thing you do at 6 a.m mm-hmm. so as as the time changes you change with time when something happens i take a step back sit down and analyze from all angles Those. from the positives and the negatives. negatives and then in my solitude and in the comfort of my pillow i have a conversation with god I do have conversations with God. I always say that I'm a hypocritical Christian. <laughs> what that means is that I, I don't go to church every Sunday. Sunday. Um, I, I don't obey all the Ten Commandments. And, um, You're God, not perfect. I'm not perfect. He comes through. I, I don't know when I have asked God for anything that, that he not has done. never done for me. I know people say times and seasons, but every single day is my time and my season. And that is what inspires me. That is what drives me. That I don't count on human beings for anything. It's just God. And he places human beings in my direction to help me. And that is what keeps me going. If I make a mistake, I speak to God that I know I erred, but take me through this. And like a whisker, I'm always out of it. It's always difficult to build something to a height Mm. and this is no secret you brought tv3 news Mm. to a certain standard to see you build something to a height of excellence and respect and you turn your back and walk away yeah was that not heartbreaking no no No, it was actually one of the happiest moments of my life. And people said, oh, don't don't go. I mean, this one, it will blow over. Thought about it for three days. I have this, this, this visceral in me that said, go. And when I hear that once, I don't pay attention to anything again. And then I just said, that's it, I am going. So I wasn't sad at all, I was really happy. And I'm happy for them. They're doing excellently well. Um, sometimes I watch their bulletin and you have reporters like Portia Solomon, who's mm-hmm. doing amazing. amazing. Um, you have Wendy Lai, you have Nanekia 
men sabwan pa and they have excellent reporters and i'm so happy for them they are growing they are 20 something years old now i'm so happy for them but i'm also happy for myself so, um because when i walked away i had the opportunity there were so many media houses that were looking for me mm-hmm. everyone wanted me and i just said to myself that do i want to be with the numbers or build something different. different and i looked at all the options on the table and i said i am going with gh1 and my mentor asked me why gh1 and i said because gh1 is not known is new for news they are not known for anything else but jam 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 mm. and so that is what i want i love me a challenge and i want people to say that oh she went here yeah. that's so low but this is where they are now mm-hmm. and i'm so proud of the team at gh1 i'm so proud of what we are going through how we are coming up i'm very happy yeah. well <laughs> it's it's getting interesting but we have to take a quick commercial break when we come back we still have nana abba and no more restoration from darling find your beautiful This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. We are a people of choice and preference. Our choices determine the quality of our lives. Our preferences depend on vast reasons. Hisense has all the reasons. Hisense and Veta fridge is very elegant. Efficient cooling system that keep your food fresher. Hisense means quality. Long lasting quality. Hisense AC is energy efficient, it's super chill, and it does not make noise. Watch all your seasonal football matches on Hisense TV. Only Hisense gives you five years warranty. Hisense everyday prices for everyday people. Hisense, life reimagined. Good food, good life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. I remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yes, extra long sandwich pad. 
took the worry away. Easy. Yes, comfort. I got yes, confidence. I got yes. The new Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. Don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Feel confident, stay fresh. Hi. Is it supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. Yes, confidence. I got yes. We got yes protection. I got. Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad for extra comfort. We got Yaz Protection. Breakfast your day. Every day. Nestle, good food, good life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. So during the week, I took time out to visit one of our loyal fans. And of course, Hisense sent me to that person. So let's go have a look at who that lucky winner for our Hisense Super Grazy giveaway moment. Auntie Mary. Yes. Apple Mboko. Atu. And that dear, me baha mamba ne bonne. Me nyan inti yese. Eye ye program restoration opepa weni jeho. And unti na ne ye tutu ye na ya ya ba malata. Na me pesa bibisa se dear na ope wo show ne ho pa. Ye me po ho pa ne se. After bibia no. Mut me money panel and crying share, money encouragement. I feel so buono, a money life, no, a costly. And I am the son of a ya, 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 be more and free because once I watch that a win, sir, I've been for the end of the day, ya, 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 Utra ni huna ma moja, ena utra misumi di ena e moja. Ita ipansu mi shana na triplets being sude. That one I've forgotten the story before. Aje e o o o ya ni ku e u ya no. He no so mu sa nyama mu o custom mu si nyama bi o kuko mu ni sa nyama. E ya na ya pesa ya mami nu ana ya families ana custom mu ya utra mu ma yenka kra ya na e ya mu wadi. Especially ya 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 ma nu na ya suffer. Ya ya da suffer chese. E na wa wa ma ho se kwe gume. Yes, yes, in your main in show. It's a nearby high sense for say, hey, Yembra, and then I'm a match. What dear? In tea, high sense. Ah, my yeah, your sponsor. Almost a young far way, Emra Mitchell. The encounter of Sakoso, not her program. No, in tea, yeah, that's it. Sumida must sit at the high sense for so as. Restoration. Oh yeah, dear. Yeah, that's see, I be sure. In the hey, bro, you idea me for fear show. Sure. I sense I do bro, you and tell me. I go for Nambi. Me, 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 me have a customer. Oh, Eja, me go fear. She be the corner. So this has been Auntie Mary from Malata Market. It has been amazing, and today she actually gave me goosebumps. I, I sometimes you do certain things and you think you're just doing it, but you never know the number of people you're impacting. So remember, it's still the high sense super crazy giveaway moment high sense is sending me out to give out a lot of things so send your messages nominate someone and we will come and visit you <laughs> nana so coming back to you and work you've been one of the toughest in the business I guess. and mostly when you tend to speak the truth you're attacked yeah and you have a way of addressing these issues are there times you get scared for oh, for your life that what if someone tries to no help? never never ever never Never. Recently, I heard you say... When you live by the sword, you, you die, die by, by the, the sword. sword. Um, if you don't talk, you forever stay where you are. I think that we've had a culture in the past where people were afraid to talk. I think that culture has diffused and people should be free to speak their mind. To express. express yourself, but do it in a very 
sensible way. Mm -hmm. You can actually insult people and be very polite about, about it. it. If you say it politely and you're, you're bang on telling the truth, I think it is God who keeps an eye on you and he will make sure you are fine, as long as you're telling the truth. Um, I'm one that will not die because anybody insulted me. Um, I mean, insults are too for anyone in an argument who has nothing sensible to say. When you tend to insult, I mean, because if you have points, if you have cogent points to make, argue them out intelligently. Mm -hmm. Meet me at an intelligent mm -hmm. level. But if you stoop so low and you run yourself into a gutter um, to call me a whore, a slut, a prostitute, I mean, be creative with your insults. <laughs> uh, that, I, I, I keep saying, just be creative. And you said it does not change the price of what came It doesn't change, it doesn't affect anything. I mean, it, it doesn't. Be creative, you know, be creative. Because insults have never killed anybody. Mm -hmm. If it does anything, it just cower people into a shell. But I'm not one to be coward. I, 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 I can't be coward. I, you, you can't put me anywhere. You know, I keep telling people that you need to speak up. And I tell young people, People especially that the future of this country rests on your shoulders if you don't speak now your future will be bleak and countries the world over are evolving in the most positive ways uh, people like to compare our politicians to that of the United States of America to the UK to to uh, the European likes of France countries. but they've gone through a transition America did this 100 years ago. Where they are now, they don't need roads. Mm -hmm. They don't need hospitals. They don't have schools. America has the best schools in the world. The UK has the best schools in the world. So don't compare our politicians to be the politicians of the UK. The systems are different. Yeah. The system in the UK is so strong that Boris Johnson, uh, Jeremy Corbyn, and the others can afford to say whatever they want to say. Mm -hmm. But in Ghana, when a politician says A, you must be able to take on the politician because you cannot afford at this point in our life to have politicians wax lyrical without working. Mm -hmm. If they are talking, they should talk, but they, should, they must walk mm -hmm. the talk. talk. Don't just talk. Mm -hmm. Do something. There are so many people living in communities and the roads are horribly oh. bad. Horribly bad. And you're not talking because you have sympathy for NDC or NPP. And so for you, you think that once you are NDC and NDC is in opposition, yeah, everything yeah. the NPP well. does. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, so you need to speak. And if, and if you're NPP, if they are doing wrong you because of your party, just you want to defend. I mean, that is a blind way of looking at things. People, and I'm talking to young people, they need to take off their rose tints and see things for the reality of it. We need to demand more from our politicians. And I know the politicians will take me on because I say this, and that's fine, completely fine. In their hearts of heart, they know I'm telling the truth. Sure. And so we need people like you, Stacey, Vim Lady, especially the female presenters, the actors, we need to say more. We need to talk more. We will be attacked. Nobody has died from an, a verbal attack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you just because don't live. I think our, our democracy is getting to the point where our politicians, our leaders, should be held accountable. Basically. Accountability. You summed it up if, nicely. If you have said you're going to do A, B, C, D, at the end of your term, you should be able to tell us, I was able to do A, B, C. Absolutely. But I was not able to do D. And give reasons why. And give you reasons do. why you could not do D. If we feel your reasons are good enough, then it becomes our decision to say, okay, let's give you another shot mm. or let's try Mr. B. Yeah. But yeah. you cannot just, and there is something all politicians do NDC, NPP. Within the first two, three years, they are the bosses. Mm. And in the fourth year, they become everybody's friend. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's the challenge, you see. The challenge is that 
once you put yourself up for an election, what it means is that you want to serve the exactly. people. What you find here in Ghana, unfortunately, and in so many other African countries, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, is that the people are serving these people who put themselves up for elections. I mean, if you want to be my member of parliament, you come and beg me to vote for you because you want to serve me. They win the election. Mm -hmm. Three months later, they come in looking resplendent, driving in a very posh, either a saloon car or a V8, V8 a, a, a four-wheel drive. And you see people with their hands behind their backs. Oh, honorable, honorable, we haven't seen in a while. And the man is just like that, or the woman is like that. And you are here to serve. But it's like the people are now the dogs licking their, their toes and their legs. That has to change. We need to stop it. If we don't stop it, these politicians will continue to take us for granted. Also, you find young people thinking that, wait a minute, mm -hmm. this is a shortcut for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not really interested in serving people. I'm not really interested in advancing the cause of a community. Mm -hmm. But when I go into politics, I can get A, B, C, D, mm -hmm. and I can get people calling me honorable, even if I know that by my deeds, I'm, I'm not, not honorable. honorable. Yeah. And, and that, that is the sorry state we find ourselves in at the moment. Because I think if you become an honorable or you become a leader and you would, you would behave like you used to during your campaign, you would really get to know the issues on the ground. Absolutely. And, and fair to say that there are some politicians like that in Ghana. Yes, we there have some amazing, amazing ones politicians who would be on the ground, who would check. Yeah. They, they don't send people. No. They are no. on the ground yeah, yeah. in their constituencies yeah. like every weekend. Yeah. Yeah. They would go to funerals. They are part of the people. Yeah. But all fingers are not the same. All these five are not the same. Mm. So we cannot all be the same. But mm. at least if we can have... On a scale of 100, if we can have 80% being good, then we are giving the youth the right mindset. Absolutely. Because politics is not a shortcut. It is not. And the, the reason we find ourselves where we are now, it's because we have so much ad embrace the politics of insults that the loudest person in the room is the one who catches the attention of the leaders of the political parties. Yeah. So if you're not loud enough and you are attending to issues, nobody knows you. That is why you find some constituents say that, oh, I've never seen my MP talk on the floor of parliament before. What do you need your MP to talk on the floor of parliament for? Mm -hmm. Your MP is in parliament to lobby B. for you, lobby projects for your constituency. If your MP finds it necessary to bring up an issue from your community on the floor of parliament, parliament that's fair. But if he has other ways of lobbying for projects, it is also fine. You don't necessarily need to judge your MP because he, he doesn't speak on the floor <laughs> of parliament. I mean, they do so much more than just yeah. speaking on the floor of parliament, you know. But I think it will get better. Um, I haven't lost hope. There are people who have lost hope. I, I, I hear some young people say that, oh, me, 2020, I won't even bother to vote. If you don't vote, the rest of us will decide for yeah. you. But at least it's, it's good this kind of conversation is happening so people get to understand Absolutely. that it's not just about looking and hoping and wishing yeah. you have to get involved yeah. you Absolutely. have to talk about it you have to express what you feel mm -hmm. so we all have to get involved and you all have to vote in 2020 <laughs> single motherhood oh. how are you managing it you do it so beautifully oh well that's a beautiful book isn't it um i don't think there's a formula to it there isn't really a formula to it. I just pay attention to my son. Uh, he pays attention to me. I just decided on my own that I'm going to give my son the best of education. And I have done that. Uh, my son and I have had our own trot, trot experiences. You know, we've sat in trot, trot 
so many times. And for the longest time, I didn't find the need to get a car because I was paying school fees at Alcid Academy and it's not cheap. Mm-hmm. You know, so I had to sacrifice a lot of things. When I was ready to get a car, um, I got a car. Not that at the time I couldn't afford the car, but I had to sacrifice a few things. Um, so it's been very smooth. For, I mean, when you put your mind to it, you can do you it. Can do it. Um, some people will say, um, well, I need a man to support me. I wouldn't say that I haven't had men to support me. I've had men who've been there for me. I've, I've dated men who were completely in awe of me and of my son. Mm-hmm. And they supported me. They paid uh, the fees. They, when my son needed anything, they'll get it for them. Has that been one of the reasons you're still single? Um, well, I'm not single. Oh, you just said I'm it. just not married. Okay. Okay. So Nana just I'm not single at all. She's not single at all. I've never so. been single before. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. I think that there's so much rasmatas around marriage, marriage that people seem to think that a woman is only complete or fulfilled if she's married. Marriage. Listen, there are married women out there who are so happy that they're married. They're so happy. And I'm happy for them Mm -hmm. that they're happy in their marriage. There are married women out there who are so single in their marriage. They're so lonely. They're so sad. Love the single in their marriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I pray that they find happiness. happiness. And I pray that they are not staying in this sad situation because they are afraid of what society Society will say say. when they walk out of that marriage. Mm -hmm. But they say in Chida, Usura Warijaya Winya Awarapa, right? (laughs) So (laughs) So all I'm saying is that if marriage comes your way, I mean nobody says never say never. Never. Um There are some people who have just said to themselves that I'm never going to get married. That is a good decision they've made. I've never said that I don't want to get married. What I have said is that I will get married because I feel that the man who wants to marry me makes me happy. Happy. Not through any financial Mm -hmm. or material gains, but one who is a good companion. Um, maybe your next question will be, have, haven't you found anyone who is... I going to ask I have. Very and you are very good with the Bible. You know a lot of quotations in the Bible, mm-hmm. verses and chapters. Is there anywhere that says that every woman must get married? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So if the good book, if God, who is more of an ultimate person, that's the thing that every woman must get married. Who are you, a mere mortal, to tell me that every woman must get married before they are complete? It's nonsensical. Absolutely. Well, it's time for a high sense, super crazy giveaway moment. And I will start with our audience. So are you ready? Oh, there are presents going wrong. Yeah. So, Nana, what's your favorite color? Hmm, all the colors in there. Okay, so let's see. Do so, I have to pick one? Yeah, pick Why your not favorite two? color. Oh, sister. Well, you and I go way back. And we've been friends for so long. So long. Yeah. And you've been trying to get me on this show for so long. Uh-huh. And I had a busy morning, but I still <laughs> came. So on that score... I care to pick two. Nana, you... This is why I'm Nanaba. Uh-uh. I don't you follow... You get to the... pick one. Two. <laughs> oh, I can look at both. You do that. Yeah. Hey. I am Nanaba. I break the rules. <laughs> oh, I can read it out. Or maybe I can choose. And... Okay, so choose. You take home a Hisense microwave. By the way, I love Hisense products. I've got their... Okay, so so you get your high sense microwave. Wait, so that, wait, I'm not done. This can is you a imagine high sense this gas, gas took over my show. A high sense gas burner. I want both. Thank you. Thank you so much, Stacey. Thank you, high sense. You're the best. Thank you. So Nanaba has decided. Go and bring the other. 
Nana, but this is heavy. So also the ninja na beko. Me fancy form. Ubeje me kuko. Sorry, sorry na so. Now, emergency support for me who? So. Oh, but this is fine. It's not that heavy. Uh huh. Put it on. Hey, I'm out for them as well. Yeah. Has anybody been Only you. Before? Only you. Nanaba. <laughs> Oliver Twist. So Nanaba is our Oliver Twist of restoration. Absolutely. So this is coming to you. No regrets. From Hisense. Thank you, Hisense. Hisense. Thank you very much Aww. for coming and God bless thank you. you. Thank and you. And we too. love you. Love you me, too. Me, Jay <laughs> So, Thank Nana, that's so not much. all. We still have presents. Oh, the gift that keeps giving. Yeah, from Lexta Ghana. Yes. Yes. Hi, Martin. Yeah, so this is from Martin and the family at oh, Lexta. Fantastic. You're saying thank you. Thank you. That's not all. We yes, still have. Yes, are doing so well. Again, from Lexta Ghana. Pooch Complex. Hey. Yeah. What's, what's this? Pooch Complex. This oh, is also conflicts. from Lexta Ghana. Oh, yeah. Complex, my milk way. Mama milk. Okay. Yeah, Pierre. What's okay. it? Oh, this is lovely. Mama milk. Open milk, say. Cat and back. Aye. Okay. Hooch. Hooch. Nice. This is also from Lexta Ghana. Wow. Yeah. Then finally, we have our restoration souvenir. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So I should be coming on the show once a month. Yes. <laughs> Every month. Every month. Once. Yeah. Then. Oh, there's more. Yeah. This is coming from Jay's Cakes. Oh, and Jay's okay. Cakes is located at School Junction. I will love this. Shall, which I know I'm you love I'm a funky, right? Ah. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you so much. Remember if you're Ochina? No, baby. Okay, Kimi, no, no, please. No, please. No. Ochina, yeah, come tomorrow. Don't worry. <laughs> is that an Oreo? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's really nice. Well, I've got to eat it with you. Mm. <laughs> this is good. It's not Thank you. Part. So who won today? Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying my cake. So what did you... Okay, so congratulations. <laughs> Woo! We have our winner in the studio. And our winner also gets a burner from High Sense. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -mm. Stand here for me. Me cake now me in and I ask them to you. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much for coming. So we have our winner. Congratulations. So it has been an amazing episode. And today, Nana has said a lot of things that should get you thinking to be a better person and a better citizen. So always do remember you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. We'll see you same time next week. Welcome to the end of the tunnel I see a bright light shining through And it's just for you There is hope for the tired and weary Open your eyes and you will see The perfect friend